Good morning, everybody. It is a new week. It is the second week of fall accountability, the fall challenge that I'm doing. And today feels like a freaking Monday. You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. so as you know, I went hunting over the weekend with my man. And what I did is like estimated the meals and whatever. And I just also had food that I haven't had in a long time. Like, frozen pizza your girl's not a fan of those anyways um like Casey's pizza I had some Doritos like yeah there's things that I wouldn't normally eat and although I tracked and made sure to still hit my macro numbers through the estimations I kind of feel fluffy kind of like a whale kind of like Ugh, today and my weight was up from 27.2 so yeah, that's kind of how my Monday's going. I didn't really want to lift. I have this new training program that Kyle gave me, and it was it's a lot more involved. Um, we're really going to be working on more strength. So, yeah. So that is kind of what's going on with that. I had a point to what I was going to tell you. <laughs> Um, had my training, did it. Oh yeah, so something that I did do differently today is that I had my post-workout shake, which I do the a scoop of Formula One and half of a scoop of Ignition. I drank that while I did my cardio today and I feel like I felt a difference. Like I had battered my triceps and biceps at the end of the workout, like you know, when you can just feel like the muscle is stiff and tight and I just, I really killed them. So that's how they were feeling. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just mix up my shake now and drink it now. Cause that's even sooner than waiting till after cardio and after I stretch. And I feel like it kind of made a difference. Not going to lie. Like it really, like, I feel like my muscles are like don't feel like that anymore. I feel like that sore feeling has gone away quicker than it traditionally would have. So I'm gonna keep experimenting with that and see how that goes. Like I'm drinking the shake, like as soon as I'm done lifting, right? Cause that's what the shake is gonna help with is the lifting aspect. Cause that's what breaks down the muscle. And so then like cardio doesn't do that, stretching doesn't do that. So that's what we're gonna try to do. My hair looks like booty. Okay, that's all. I'm gonna go home. I'm eating some of these. Honestly, literally just cause tis the season, like that's why. <laughs> and also it's part of the post-workout meal, I guess. But if I start implementing this, like literally drinking the shake right after, maybe I'll cut out like the extra super processed sugary carb sources. We'll see. So yeah, interesting little revelation on this first Monday. That is kind of a crappy Monday, but it will get better. It's all in your mind. Hello friends. I got an exciting package and there will be another one coming. So tis the video. Shannon, thank you so much for showing us your support. It truly means a lot. I hope you enjoy your new products. If you need anything, reach out. Someone from customer service. I can't read his name. So I stocked up. Got another pumpkin spice latte protein because this is a limited edition flavor and they still had it in stock. So I wanted to get another one because my other tub is like mm, half gone probably and your girl needs another one and my blueberry muffin flavor ran out also so I honestly might order another flavor because like just having pumpkin spice latte flavor protein is gonna get old really fast but we'll see how long I last then the only other thing in here I'm very excited about this I'm very excited about this berry lemonade project one so this is a pre-workout that has pre-workout and creatine in it so i have been taking creatine and it's like the cylindrical creatine monohydrate white powder 
one scoop is five grams, but in here, so one scoop does have creatine in it. Yeah, it has five grams of creatine monohydrate, which is the same serving that I have been getting. So on the days that I lift, I'm just going to take this because it has my pre-workout and my creatine in it right there. So then that means I can use megawatt for if I just need like an energy boost or before like a hit class or something like that. So that's when I will be able to use that. This, like I said, is the berry lemonade flavor. I'm very excited to try it. Um, that's all I got in this package. I There's more coming because I needed some more things, but it smells amazing. I'm so excited. I'm going to use this tomorrow. So that's kind of that. Hmm. Okay. I will let you know how this tastes later. Today is not the day, friends. It's not the day. Oh, but here's the berry lemonade pre-workout. Mm. I did take some sips of it already. It's good. It's tangy. It's tart. It's it doesn't taste like the pink lemonade. Like they have distinct different flavors. So I'm here for it. Just not much has been going right, folks. Not much has been going right today. Um, but I'm gonna go hit a leg workout. I need to write it down. I need to open an assignment for the class I TA for. Have a meeting at four. So let's let's do this. friends I'm back because the other package came so what did I get this time BCA eggs in the blue raspberry flavor I'm gonna open this and try this like ASAP it's gotta be better than blood orange right I think so and then I also got another flavor of megawatt because mine's almost out so I might try this one today as well pina colada flavored um, and so this is just pre-workout. Uh, one scoop has 150 milligrams of caffeine or you can do two scoops. And like, that's not it for this one. So this is good. Uh, it's designed for just kind of to be your good all around pre-workout. I can smell it through, oh, smell it through the container. It smells good. And then I'm going to start taking BCAAs. I thought this would be good because I was taking EAAs before, which is like all nine essential amino acids. BCAAs are the three that you can only get by like ingesting them in your diet. So I want to make sure that I keep getting those, but now I'm eating enough of like a variety of things and like I am almost three months post show. So I don't necessarily think I need EAAs. I am not going to lie. I could use a little bit more education on like the best time to use which, but that's my best guess at the moment right now. And then finally, I got night tea. So this is another nighttime sleep supplement. I had been doing the Core 21, but this one is formulated like specifically for people who are like trying to gain muscle. Essentially, that's what I understood. It's a testosterone modulator. That did kind of freak me out, but when I looked into the supplement, it's, um, yeah, it's not going to turn me into a man or anything. And obviously it's not an illegal steroid. So yeah, I'll have to see how this goes, but it is what I got. And I'm very excited. As I said, I'm trying it later today. It's been like 10 minutes, but and as you saw, I'm taking drinks before, but the effect, am I right? Definitely, I would suggest drinking it ice cold. 
This is kind of like lukewarm with the ice cubes in it. The flavor, I do like better than the blood orange that I had last time. But that was blood orange EAAs, so maybe it's a little different. It still kind of has that like chalky candy taste sort of that kind of lingers in the back of your throat a little bit. But the blue raspberry flavor is fresh and refreshing. Um, I don't... I might start mixing this my greens, mixing it with my greens again, like I used to do with my EAAs, just to kill two birds with one stone. But I already drank my greens today, so yeah, I like it the more I drink it. So if you're curious about any of these products, there's a free shipping link below. Check it out. Take care of the inside and outside of your body. Now let me get back to work. Good morning. It's Friday and it's going to be a good day. Last night was a good night. I went to a show. I didn't film this scene set for you. I'm so sorry, but I'm headed to campus. I'm going to get a protein shake and I don't know, just kind of work there for the day. So I'm not at home all day. So it's going to be exciting. So it's been a good morning so far. I'm just headed over to the rec center. I'm gonna do some work on my thesis there, drink my pre-workout, and hit legs. I'm ready to crush my legs and have a great, great day. protein smoothie so it'll be like a pumpkin spice oat smoothie thing these are the ingredients i'm working with ice almond milk oats a little bit of that sugar-free syrup the best protein ever xanthan gum pumpkin pie spice scale let's see how this goes This is where we're at so far. Looks pretty decent. Need to make sure that there's no ice cubes left in there. I think we're good. Okie dokie. So let's taste it. Mm. That's good. I'm going to pour it into this. Cup here, because I think this should be big enough. Oh yeah, we got room to spare, folks. That's always kind of sad. <laughs> Top it with a little bit of this pumpkin. It's literally pumpkin spice whipped cream. Of course. And we'll top it with a little bit more of the pumpkin pie spice. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Let me show you. Oh yeah, baby. Yummy. Okay, and so this little shake has 214 calories, I think it was, 18 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs, and five grams of fat. So I'm going to go meet up with some friends tonight and they have snacks and drinks. Like I might just have like one drink or something, so I'm gonna drive. So there's some like carbs there. And then as well as do I have a lot of 
carbs left. I think there's like 60 carbs left and I have like 13 fat left. So we'll see how the night goes. I'm gonna estimate and track and hope it goes well. Hi, okay, so that's another week in the books, week two just to two of our fall accountability challenge this week was pretty good I feel like honestly my sessions in the gym I started a new training split and it's been really good like I the leg sessions for some reason I just feel like my legs totally get demolished so that's been good and my diet was pretty on point honestly today was kind of a weird day and I'm going to just take a second to like plan out my food for tomorrow as best as I can so I can stay on track but that's about it thank you so much for sticking around so long um thank you so much for watching you can find me on instagram at shandanfit I post motivational things full day of eating growth updates and don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out I will catch you in the next one Mwah.